Alrighty guys, uh, today we're going to be out here in the shop, <coughs> and uh, we're out here working on the uh, 18 opposed, as you can see, I have all my bolts, a little container I picked up at uh, uh, Northern Tools up in Georgia, I do not live in Georgia, <coughs> I live down here in Florida, picked these up for about four bucks, uh, Really, they work pretty good. I got spark plugs in this one, uh, my intake bolts and my exhaust bolts, exhaust bolts, and my uh, exhaust uh, gaskets in there as well. Uh, <clears throat> all my intake gaskets are on the intake up there. But uh, today I have a bit of porting I have done. In between here, if you can see, if it focus, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but got that ported a little bit so the valves can get a little bit more air flow. Got a bit of porting on here. I've got to get a uh, polishing tool. I ordered it last night, so it'd be here the 26th. Um, the headers are right there. I don't know how much they are headers now, but here's a uh, 17 and a half horse Briggs uh, engine, uh, the uh, overhead valve. I did a clean up on this. And I put a GC160 carb bolt in the bottom of the bowl instead of uh, wherever it is. The little uh, ah, one of these little niter things, my bobs, sensor, whatever. But it broke off on the tip and it just froze up, so I just said screw it. But, uh,. <coughs> gasket for right here but here's the uh, John Deere uh, that's got the 12 12 horse with the flathead on it um, this is its carburetor I had to clean it out after getting a bit of a extinguisher white stuff inside of it but uh, yeah I have a temp gauge that I will most likely be putting on the motor. I have no clue if I'm going to throw this oil pressure gauge on there, depending on how hard it is to wire it up. Because you got to get the pressure. But I'm also probably going to get a uh, RPM gauge. <clears throat> but this is definitely going on there. So I don't end up blowing up the motor because it gets too hot. But, uh,. Right there's the G6 carb, right there's the G6 block, and right there's a running G6. Uh, but, show you guys some uh, stuff in a minute.
and we're done. Well, guys, here we got the 18 horse put back together. See, we got the head, got the exhaust, got the carb, got the head, the exhaust. All I gotta do is tighten up the spark plugs a little bit more, and uh. Go ahead and tighten up this gas line. Right there's the uh, well, it's not an 18 horse anymore, it's a 21 horse, uh, 20 horse. But uh, go ahead and uh, tighten down those spark plugs and uh, I ran around a little bit, but uh, y'all guys should go uh, on Facebook and go to Southern Off Road Mowers. Uh, or go to Maine Mud Mowers, and then you can go to uh, OnePugLife.com, get some decals from there. Uh, you can also go to ATLTF.com, it's a tractor form if you need any help building something or you uh, want advice on something. It's a uh, worldwide social club, um, free to enter. You can also get some decals off there. Um, this is Twisted Builds. I welcome all my new subscribers. Uh, hello to all my new viewers. And uh, you guys can go build something. Next update, 820. Peerless. Got some tensioners. This is the rear pulley. The bit gonna fly. <laughs> 